Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day in this video. I just painted the single car garage here that I said I would be doing and I did it all while I was sick. I didn't live stream over the past weekend, most of you know, because I was coughing like crazy. And yeah, so I decided to just try and go hard and clean up and paint this area to get ready to run electrical and also figure out a shelf system here that I can run some mining rigs, all right? So throughout this video, I just wanna explain just another filler video of uh, what I just did here and uh, also talk about the future plan here for the next part garage here that I wanna do, okay, so let's begin. All right, so I had a fun time painting throughout this weekend, cleaning up, and there were some areas where I missed filling in some holes, so I just recently been cutting some drywall and uh, fixing that up, all right? So there are some other areas here that I had to fill in, like over here. This is where the wiring guys had to cut some holes to run the networking and some 20 amp, 120 volt lines a while back, so I had to fill those in, so that's gonna be good. But yeah, I painted everything white, as you guys can see here, and I painted the ground gray. Okay, it's uh, some epoxy uh, cement paint, all right, for the garage floor. So I'm hoping that this will last at least, you know, maybe three or five years, and then I'll just spend another, you know, 50 to 80 bucks again to buy two paint here, and just repaint the garage floor uh, if I need to. Okay, so this is what uh, I used. Actually, I have, half, I have half a can left, so realistically, I only used uh, a can and a half and yeah this is what i use bare premium concrete and garage self priming one part epoxy paint and then for the white walls i just use typical white white paint that i can buy in bulk and it was cheap enough so that was fun painting this whole thing it was definitely a lot of work but wasn't as fun as i was doing that while i'm coughing my head off and doing all that at the same time but anyways guys now let's talk about the electrical okay so you guys gave me a lot of good feedback from the previous filler video that we talked about running electrical somehow through or not through the drywall that's already been installed so i'm just going to get emt conduit or maybe the uh, plastic conduit i'm going to go along the corners here we're going to drill a hole to go through here to put two 40 volt 30 amps. So I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do two 30 amp circuits or three 30 amp circuits and then go through there, that corner, have another conduit come out of there, keep going along here, all right, at the top and go all the way down to here while I have two or three of the 30 amp circuits on this side or maybe on this wall over here because I'm planning on having the shelf over here somewhere. Okay, as you guys can see. So let me know what you guys think of that plan of me having the circuits on this side of the wall here and then I'll have a shelf right here for the mining rigs and I'll have exhaust over here. We'll figure that out later. And then I'll have my intake from hopefully my garage door windows. If that's not enough, I mean, we're gonna have to figure out something else. I mean, there is an exterior wall here. I could maybe manipulate something, but I would hate to have a cutout out of my house on that side, but we'll see if it has to come to that, especially summer is coming. So it might get pretty hot in here. So two 30 amp or three 30 amp circuits around here somewhere. You guys let me know. And then I'm going to have a big shelf here. And in case anyone's wondering about the dimensions of this garage here. Okay. It's about nine feet. Okay. Nine feet across this way. And then from the ground, to the ceiling, it's about 7.5 feet, almost eight feet. That's not quite eight feet, but close to there. So I know it seems like it's really tall and it's a really big garage, but honestly, it's because of my wide angle lens. As you guys can see, I can, it's pretty construed depending on how much I zoom in or zoom out. But anyways, that's, you guys know the dimensions across and tall. Uh, in terms of now, 
I did mention in the last video that I did want this to be also functional garage where I do want to have a car in here. So I got to be mindful that I, I do need some space here to at least park one car here and then have a shelf for mining. Like a, I'm probably just going to go to Home Depot and get a Husky shelf, put it right here. And that's where I'll have all my mining rigs on there. Okay guys, so that's, that's my plan. Hopefully running conduit over there and just having it here somewhere and then the cables will just plug into uh, well on the shelf so hopefully that will be good that's my plan anyways man i do not envy those people who do drywall you know for work and this is this is not easy work man i this is something i learned on youtube i mean it didn't seem that difficult but i i think i did a pretty crappy job i was using this uh what's this mudding stuff dry deck spackling and uh, it, it goes purple when you put it on and then when it dries out it goes white and so that's just to let me know uh, when it's done curing and then I can you know sand it and then paint it the best I can white and yeah that should be good that was yeah I've been learning a lot of stuff over the past year here as I've been most of you know moved into a new uh, mining location here well basically a new house and man if I were to go back and say would I do it all over again probably not renovating is one of the most stressful things I've I've ever done in my life but the space I have here is pretty awesome and I can manipulate it in the way that I want thank god I'm not in an HOA or anything like that crap so I can do whatever I want so guys now talking about this next part of the garage in the middle here I'm already started to clean up there's a bunch of building supplies supplies here I already got that out and uh, vacuumed shop vac it over here and just starting to clean up starting to go over all the rest of the stuff here I don't have too much stuff left but there are some things that I need to uh, essentially get rid of and a lot of bathroom tile I don't know, understand why there's so much extra bathroom tile I did not even notice this until just recently I was just like Man, why did they buy so much? This is where all my money went to all the extra supplies. It's just, it's just insane. All right, guys, I'm losing my voice. Anyways, guys, next plan. Yep, I'm just gonna start clearing everything out of here and then I'm gonna start painting everything white, uh, the, the drywall, and then I'm gonna paint uh, using the same garage paint, uh, cement floor paint that I used for here, just to make everything the same, and essentially the same color I did for the other two sides, uh, you guys remember. Then the fun part comes in figuring out where should I have more 240 volt 30 amp circuits? So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have it on that side of the wall and then I'm gonna have shelves here and then I'll ha I have exhaust here. I think I can fit up to a 22 inch fan or at least 18 inch exhaust fan here, but I don't know if that's enough and I don't know if I'm gonna have enough intake. All right, that's gonna be one of the biggest issues here. But I was actually thinking one of the walls over here, right there, that I could cut out something here to the exterior, have intake over here and then go into here but i'm not sure yet and also when i have mining in that other side of the garage how that's going to you know with the exhaust fan on that window over there how that's going to affect my mining rigs here if i'm exhausting on a window here and exhausting window there also if i'm potentially going to be exhausting out of this window here for my mining rig setup over here as well all right so just a lot of things to consider this basement I have is it's it's really big and I have a lot of options I have a lot of ways to hopefully manipulate you know the airflow the way that I want one of my family members gave me one of these 30 inch uber Haas fans I, I this thing blows a lot of air and apparently it costs like a thousand dollars I was just like uh, are you serious why do you have that so I have it here I don't think I'm gonna be needing something like this but it's here now but ultimately I need to start cleaning up first. I'll figure that out first. We'll figure out power in another video and yeah, all that good stuff. Okay, guys, I think that's it. This is just a fun filler video while I'm sick and a lot of videos to come. I just received a bunch of ASIC miners from Crypto Miner Bros. Stay tuned for those videos. I, I actually put my 58Xs on top of them so that I could force myself to make the next update on the 20 GPU mining rig for you guys. I know a lot of people have been asking about that, so stay tuned guys. Yeah, I think I got an E9 Pro KA3 and a S19J Pro Plus. Uh, I'm not quite sure what terahash, but all right guys, I'll see you on the next video. I should get better in a few days. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace out. As a crypto miner, you know you want your equipment to be high quality. Proper cable management is part of your mining rig, 
and the Veteran Miner has you covered. The Veteran Miner cables are created with the best materials to ensure they are of the highest quality. Our cables are made of 16 gauge tin copper, ensuring another layer of protection from oxidation and corrosion. We support our products with a 100% guarantee. Visit our website at www.theveteranminer.com and get the best cables for your mining setup.